Hello everybody. In my last video I showed how to remove duplicates using VBA but only from one column. In this video I'm going to show how to use VBA programming to remove duplicates from an array or in this case a table or a range that has multiple columns in it. In this case I'm going to be working with sheet 2 and I'll be working with the data that's currently in front of me. And the end result should give us only two rows because there are only two rows that are very that are completely unique and that's in that case that's going to be these two rows right here or I should say it's going to get it's going to leave us with the top one and the one that's in row five so from the last video though remove dupes we were, we were working with column a and this is the code that we created all we do is we find the last row in column a and then based on that we remove duplicates from column A that's going based on the last row that we find in column A. So we're pretty much going to use this same code but we are going to modify it a bit. First I'm going to get the last row in column B because I'm now working with column B. I'm still working with sheets, sheet 2. That's the caption of my sheet. You want to change this what's in quotes to the caption that's of your sheet. I'm going to change this A out to AB. And everything else will remain the same. This is just to give us the last row that's going to be in column B. So if I also do a message box here and then do exit sub, if I execute this code, this should give me the number 12. And it does. So we're ready to proceed. The next thing that we're going to do is update our code for removing the duplicates. This is for removing, I'm going to put a single quote here. I'm just going to write code to remove duplicates in one column. And then the next one I'm going to do is code to remove duplicates by analyzing all columns. And I'm just going to change this code out. This is one that I had created from a previous video. I'm going to do sheets. And then again, it's going to be sheet two dot range. This is going to be the starting cell, but it's not going to be B five. We're going to have to modify that to, again. To, it's going to be to this workbook. I'm going to start that with B one, and I'm going to go all the way to G. So we're doing the. It's going to be dollar G dollar, and we have a end the double quote ampersand and then it's not going to be a row count we're looking at the last row in column B so I can remove this now and I'll scroll over so you can see the remainder of the code it's going to be dot remove duplicates and here's going to be where the biggest difference is under columns before we only have to put columns is equal to one now we have to do an array and this is going to be the count of columns that you're working with. In this case we're working with six columns. We can go we can toggle back to the Excel environment and see that we have column one, two, three, four, five, and six. If your range is much larger, then of course your array is gonna have to be larger. So just adjust your range accordingly. In this case, again ours is just going one through six. And then here we're just telling Excel that we have a header row. So even though we're, our starting range is B1, Excel knows not to remove, remove anything from B1 or that specific column because we're telling Excel that that's our header row and that it shouldn't do anything, do anything with it. That's just giving it the starting point. So this is ready to go. And again, I'm just going to bring this 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 way that way if you want to take a screenshot of the code right now that way you can copy it right now would be the best opportunity to do so I'm going to toggle back to my Excel environment and run this macro remove dupes so we should again end up with only two rows let's go to macro and then remove dupes and there you have it those are the two rows that we said we should have left over these are the two rows that have completely unique values all across the board Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.